everyone, welcome back to Jus de Rose. Today's video is part two to the Atelier des Ors buying guide, this time for you gentlemen. In my previous video, I announced that I had another Atelier des Ors discount code, which is Jus de Rose 15. It is valid until the 18th of September, and you can get 15% off the full size bottles on the Atelier des Ors website. So with that in mind, I've selected, in my opinion, the best fragrances for guys, which I'll recommend to you today. And I wanted to start off with spring and summer with my favorite one, which is Riviera Lazuli. So this perfume is the Aston Martin of fresh summer fragrances. To me, this fragrance is sexy, captivating, classy as well. It smells so good. It has a structure of a citrus aromatic DNA with notes of sage, guyac wood for a little bit of smokiness, immortel and cypress. The best way I can describe this fragrance is as if you were walking along the Mediterranean coast with beautiful views of the deep blue sea. There's a light sea breeze. You're surrounded by like little dried shrubs and immortel. This to me is what Riviera Lazuli is about. It is a really unusual, complex smelling, fresh fragrance that is versatile. So you can wear it basically in a lot of different situations in the summertime. I do recommend you wear this on a summer date because it's unique, it's different and very attractive as well. And in terms of performance, on my skin it lasts around nine hours with moderate projection. Riviera Lazuli, an underrated summer fragrance. Next up, we have a new release. It is Riviera Sunrise. This just launched over the summer. And this perfume is for those of you who love the notes of orange or orange dominant fragrances. So it has a big, big dose of orange as well as mandarin. And it's more the pulp of citruses that you can smell as opposed to citrus peel. So it's very juicy. And you also have some light woods in the background a touch of aromatic notes with basil and some musk. It is super energizing. This is like a vitamin C shot in a bottle. Forget your coffee, wear this fragrance first thing in the morning and it will wake you up and you can start your day the right way. This to me really smells as if you were eating a orange flavored popsicle on a really hot sunny day. It has that like cooling orange popsicle effect, which I love. Super nice new release from Atelier des Ors and I recommend it to you again if you love orange dominant scents. And the final spring summer fragrance I'd recommend is Blanc Polychrome. This perfume is super long lasting and projects really well for a citrus. I always am amazed when I wear this scent about how long it lasts on my skin. On my skin it lasts 12 hours with a strong projection. Oh, this is so good. A fizzy, really vibrant, effervescent citrus scent. As opposed to smelling the pulp like we did in Riviera Sunrise, this is really the citrus peel, the citrus zest. It's predominantly a citrus dominant perfume, but you have some like light, watery white florals going on in the background and also some musks in the dry down. This fragrance is great to wear if it is very hot outside and you want to refresh yourself a little bit this perfume is perfect for that. It's as if you were drinking an ice cold San Pellegrino with a slice of lemon on a terrace in the summertime surrounded by lemon and orange trees. That is the vibe that I get from this fragrance. It is that fizzy, that cooling and refreshing. Great long lasting citrus scent, Blanc Polychrome. Moving into autumn and winter fragrances, I have two and this first one is Beast Mode in a bottle. It is Bois Sicard. This fragrance is so strong. It is the strongest perfume from Atelier des Ors and it's also, I find, the most polarizing one. So don't blind buy this fragrance. Definitely sample before you get it. It is, to me, masculinity and boldness in a bottle. Super strong, smoky perfume built around guyac wood, cedar wood, some tobacco and nutmeg. It is very, very smoky. To me, the smokiness kind of reminds me of say, walking late afternoon on a 
crisp, biting cold winter day and you're walking around in a neighborhood and you could smell like the smoke coming out of the chimneys, that is the kind of smokiness that I get from this scent. It's also a little bit boozy and you definitely get a tobacco vibe, but to me this is more of a tobacco leaf or the tobacco that wraps around a cigar. That is what I get from this perfume. As I said, it's not for everyone. It's really powerful. It projects a lot. This perfume lasts forever on the skin, like 12 hours plus with a monstrous projection. This is probably one of the most beast mode perfumes in my collection. It is super strong. If you want to make an impression with your fragrance, definitely wear Boisica. But as I said, sample before you buy. Now, gentlemen, if you like sweetness in fragrances, then I recommend you try Rouge Sarai. This perfume is built around a date note, sticky, syrupy date notes that's blended with like dry fruits. There's also like a honeyed facet. It is a very indulgent and luxurious, sweet smelling scent. If you like sweet scents, I'd recommend you try Rouge Sarai and it is fantastic for the colder months. I wouldn't necessarily wear this in the summer because it is very sweet and can be a little bit too much. And in terms of performance, on my skin, it lasts around nine hours with a moderate to strong projection. Next, if you're looking for a formal scent, I'd recommend you try Cuir Sacré. This perfume is, after Lune Féline, my favorite fragrance from Atelier des Ors. Simply incredible. So this fragrance is a leather to vetiver combo. This is so chic and sophisticated. Oh, very sexy as well. It smells amazing. Like the leather in this fragrance is quite front and center, especially when you first spray it, but it will quiet down as the fragrance develops on the skin, leaving place to the vetiver. So the vetiver will shine more in the dry down than in the opening. But the leather I find is so well blended. It's almost like the finest quality of leather, like suede like leather. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I'd recommend you wear this if you have formal events, something like that. You can even wear it for date night. If there's only one fragrance I'd recommend you get from Atelier des Ors, Cure Sacré would be it. And if you do want to get it, you can get the 15% off with the code Jus de Rose 15 that is valid until the 18th of September. And as I said, you can redeem it as many times as you want. And the final fragrance I'd recommend to you gentlemen is Rose Omeyade. This is a beautiful rose oud fragrance. I also recommended it in my women's video, but honestly, this fragrance is completely unisex. It's not because there's rose in it that it's a girly girl fragrance. Fragrance. Guys can wear rose too, and rose is unisex. And for sure, this perfume is more of a unisex number, I would say. Rose Omeyade, you have this gorgeous, velvety, jammy rose blended with the oud that is dry, smoky. It is so well done. You have also a touch of sugar, so it is on the sweeter side. And what I like about this fragrance is that it's an approachable rose oud. So if you are intimidated by rose oud fragrances, Rose Omeyade is a great introduction into to that category. It's easy to understand, likable, and this is a type of perfume that I feel would get a lot of compliments as well. And I would recommend wearing this more in the evenings when you're dressed up and you want to finish your look and, you know, feel really confident and just great, I would finish it up with a Rose Omeyade. This is another perfume that lasts all day on my skin and it has also a strong projection, really gorgeous sillage. So if you wanna be able to smell your fragrance throughout the day and smell like a, the most addictive, velvety, jammy rose, this is the one that you should go for. And that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will put all of the details and links in the description box down below if you wanna get any of these fragrances. Thank you so much for watching and remember, spread the fragrant love.